And now for the dinosaur of the day, a Belosaurus, which was a request from Cole via Patreon, so thanks Cole. And the name means Abel's Lizard, and it was an Ablosaurid theropod that lived in the late Cretaceous in what is now Argentina. And it was named after Roberto Abel, who found the type specimen, and was also the director of the Museum of Tiopoletti in Argentina, where the specimen is kept. Abel found the holotype in 1983. He found one fossil. It's a partial skull with no lower jaws, but the skull is estimated to be 33 inches or 85 centimeters long. It was named by Jose Bonaparte and Fernando Emilio Novas in 1985, and the type species is Ablosaurus comohuensis. The species name is in honor of the Comahu region of Argentina where the bones were found. And the paper about it was, again, published in 1985, and it was called Ablosaurus comohuensis carnosauria from the late Cretaceous of Patagonia. And it was a carnivore. It grew up to be 23 to 30 feet or 7 to 9 meters long. This is based on the one partial skull an estimate. Though Gregory Paul estimated in 2010 that it weighed 3 tons and it was 33 feet or 10 meters long. It was probably an apex predator. And Gregory Paul said, again in 2010, that it may have hunted titanosaurs. And it probably had short front limbs and long legs. Ablosaurus helped scientists better understand theropods from the southern hemisphere. It had a broad skull in the back, so Bonaparte and Novus compared it to Tyrannosauridae, which had wide skulls. There's some differences, though, so it's not part of the Tyrannosaur family. But they think that Ablosaurus looked like a smaller T-Rex. Ablosaurids have short heads, and the skulls may have had a crest based on rough ridges on the snout. They had four small teeth in the premaxilla, and the maxilla had 7 to 13 larger teeth. They had high eye sockets and large fenestra in the skull above the jaw, and the holes in the skull make it lighter, which may have helped it balance its large skull. There's larger holes in the skull than in Tyrannosauridae. So because of Ablosaurus, they created a new family called Ablosauridae, and originally they thought it was Carnosauria, but then other Ablosaurids were found, like Carnotaurus, Majungasaurus, and that shows that they were Neoceratosauria instead of Carnosaurs. In 2009, Nova said that Ocosaurus, which is another Ablosauridae, may be a junior synonym of Ablosaurus, but that hasn't been accepted. Ablosauridae means Abel's lizards, and it's a family of theropods. They lived in the Jurassic and Cretaceous in Gondwana, and they've been found in Africa, South America, India, and Madagascar, and they may have also lived in the late Jurassic in Portugal. They're carnivorous with stocky hind limbs and short but tall skulls and crests on the skull. Most were between 17 to 30 feet or 5 to 9 meters long, and only a few advanced ablosaurids have been found with complete skeletons, so it's not clear exactly how they all looked. Many are known from skull bones. But the skull is similar to Carcharodontosaurids, so the groups may have been related. Very cool. You don't hear too much about non-sauropods being found in Argentina, so that's cool. 